In this episode of the Dr. Clay Show, I'm going to give you an update on my rhodiola experiment. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to another episode of the Dr. Clay Show. Now, I, uh, I wanted to give you an update on my rhodiola experiment, where I've been taking rhodiola and seeing how it, uh, how it works, how I feel like it works, because it's something that I took once briefly back in the day, but you know, I uh, was getting ready for a contest and was taking caffeine, ephedrine, tyrosine, yohimbine, and who knows what else. And you can't tell at that point when you're taking so many stimulants and things, you can't tell what's doing what. So anyway, this is the first time that I've taken it kind of with a clear slate and I'm able to um, kind of evaluate the effects of it. So I wanted to share it with you. Now the episode, I just got, <laughs> I just noticed that the episode that I, where I initially mentioned that I was going to take rhodiola has been, it was episode 70 by the way, it's been deleted, it's been banned by YouTube because I had in there a clip from the TV show The Voice. And and NBC, the the producer of The Voice or whatever, they banned it. They removed. They said I violated the copyright. You know, I infringed their copyrights, and so they removed the video. Man, what is this world coming to? I mean, I'm posting like 10, 15, whatever seconds of of the show, hyping it up, talking about how much I love The Voice. And then NBC, so <laughs> the way they thank me for promoting their show is by removing it. And, and that doesn't make any sense. So, by the way, if you want to take out, if you want to snip out, you know, film parts of the Dr. Clay show and record it and talk about it and talk good about it, go for it. I won't care. I won't do like NBC and say you're vi violating my copyright infringement. Uh, anyway, that's... Man, that's so annoying. But, I mean, it's like you try to be nice, right? And look what happens. Anyway, so let me give you an update on rhodiola. Because like I said in the now banned episode, I, um, I've been taking rhodiola, specifically the Biotest brand, which you can see there, or you can see it right here. The Biotest brand of rhodiola. Rhodiola rosea. And... I've got to say, I'm actually really impressed. I'm not impressed by many supplements. I mean, you know, starting from when I was back in the, back in the day, like, I don't know, 16 years old, when I first started taking supplements. And, you know, at this point, I'm pretty much, I believe, pretty immune to the placebo effect, you know, because I've just taken so much stuff that I kind of know what does what. And I'm very in tune with my body. So... I think I've got a pretty accurate representation here of how rhodiola works for me, at least. And I have to say, I'm thoroughly impressed. And it's nothing, I'm not noticing anything like, boom, you know, like sometimes you take a super strong energy drink and you're like, wow, I can really feel it. You know, I'm amped up. That's not what I notice with rhodiola at all. But what I notice is a it's like a nice, even kind of energy. And I noticed it. I thought it would be something that would have to kind of build up over time to get the effects. But to be honest, I noticed it, I mean, within a day or two. And, and I wanted to say even uh, even that day a little bit. Maybe that was placebo effect. Maybe it's just coincidence. But nonetheless, I, I can definitely, after having taken it for, I believe, a little over a month now, I can definitely notice an improvement kind of in my overall mood, which that's great because Yours truly is going through some tough times, to say the least. In fact, if you knew what I was going through right now and the fact that I'm even able to do the Dr. Clay show, man, I mean, NBC will be knocking down my door wanting me to do some acting for them because I could win an Academy Award for the acting that I'm doing. But nonetheless, I certainly could use the mental pick-me-up that Rodiel has given me. And it, and it really is kind of... Um, I look at it as kind of evening out your day, you know, where your day tends to, or maybe your mood, your energy tends to kind of go, if I may draw here, up and down like that. Well, with rhodiola, it's more like, well, look here in blue. It's more something kind of like this, you know. It's more even. So I mean, that's a stupid graphic representation of, <laughs> of the, the effects of rhodiola. Anyway, 
it, it's definitely something I've noticed where it's like a nice, even energy and kind of a nice, even mood. And I'm surprised that, uh, that I'm noticing this effect, but I feel like it's also helping me to sleep better. And I would have thought it would be more of a stimulant effect, and I'm definitely noticing a good even energy. But nonetheless, it's uh, it appears to be helping me sleep better as well. And like I said, kind of an overall boost in mood. So now they, they describe rhodiola as an adaptogen, adaptogen. And that was coined by a Russian scientist. He just came up with that term saying that it helps you in, in non-specific ways helps you adapt to stress. Well, I would have to say I definitely uh, definitely agree with that. But nonetheless, there's also, forget what I'm noticing about it, which, like I said, the effects are quite positive, but there's quite a bit of research on rhodiola as well. And you can go to Google Scholar and, and punch in rhodiola rosea and see what you come up with. But and the effects are really impressive. In fact, it's been shown to help, uh, they say, like physical fitness levels. Because a lot of times, it, rhodiola is studied for its antidepressant effects and kind of energy boosting effects and and so on, kind of mental effects, but in cognitive effects and so on. But nonetheless, it also has a significant effect on our physical fitness, not just our brain fitness. And it's often used to help boost, for example, they say in Russia, it's often used to help boost workers' um, work capacity or workers' productivity and so on. Well, I mean, I guess if I get more work productivity, that's cool, but I don't work on an assembly line, so I doubt it. But nonetheless, it um, I'm really digging it. Now, actually, in terms of my dose, I want to mention to you uh, the dose. I'm taking 100, it's a 100 milligram, each capsule is 100 milligrams, and those are, you can't just go by the milligrams, by the way, that is standardized to contain 15% of the, let me make sure I spell it right, the rosavins, I guess is how you pronounce it. I've never actually heard the word pronounced, but the uh, it has 15% of the rosavins, and I'm taking four of these a day, four capsules a day, two in the morning, and then two about lunchtime or so. So anyway, if you want to kind of mimic my protocol and see how it affects you, there you go. But it seems like it's a really, um, well, basically a really safe and effective compound. Um, anyway, enough about rhodiola. That's, uh, that's, that's all I got for you today, my friend. And uh, anyway, like I said, it's something that I guess I could summarize by saying I'm going to keep taking it. And that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty strong recommendation for me. Now, if you decide to take it, of course, always you need to talk with your doctor about what you're going to take because you never know what can conflict with what. And you need to get you a nutrition-savvy doctor, by the way. But nonetheless, do run it by your nutrition-savvy doctor. I would highly recommend that. And um, anyway, if you do decide to take it, uh, let me know what you, wh how you feel it works because one of the ways that I learned the most is actually getting feedback from, you know, typically from clients, but likewise, I would appreciate your feedback. If you feel like, um, you know, you can evaluate how it's worked for you, by all means, let me know. All right, my friend, that's going to do it for this Rhodiola update episode of the Dr. Clay Show. Till next time.